You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to take a look at Stick It to the Man for the Nintendo Switch. Now, Stick It to the Man is a weird, weird game. Um, it's a little bit of a combination of a uh, platforming adventure and um, it, one of those little puzzly games where you go and you, like, do things. Similar like Thimblewood Weed Park or uh, some of those adventure games like Siberia or, um, oh, it's got, like, a, a weird art style, as you can tell right now from the footage that's playing in the background. Um, it's just, uh... Stick it to, man, to the man from uh, Zoink Games is, well, hmm, what's the best way to describe this game? It's like a point-and-click adventure, similar to like Maniac Mansion or Thimbleweed Park, which I mentioned before, or um, Oxen Free or things like that, but it's also got platforming challenges. So you're wandering around like vast um, exploratory areas and uh, things are happening. Basic idea is the main character, um, Ray, he accidentally gets, like, he, he's out there, you know, testing hard hats, because that's what he does for a job, Ugh. and he's wandering home to his, his girlfriend, Arlene, and then something happens, and some box of some sort falls on him, and he ends up in the hospital, but also, he now has an alien named Ted living in his brain. Yeah. And this alien manifests itself with a giant pink squishy hand thing that comes right out of his head. He can see the squishy hand thing. A lot of other people cannot. Um, although some people can, depending. It's weird. The rules around that don't make much sense. But he finds out that he can use the squishy hand thing to uh, read minds. Read what people are thinking about and also to peel back layers similar to something from Paper Mario and to, when people think about something, drag a thing out of their memories and into the real world. So pretty much you just think about something and you get somebody to think about something and then you go take it from their memories and then you take it to other people's memories or use it to accomplish things. Um, it just gets... Okay. Everything about this game is horrible and wrong. The voice acting is fantastic. You can speed it up by pushing right on the uh, left, joy left joystick, you know, left stick. And um, you can also slow it down or rewind it. But the voice act is tons and tons of voice acting. All of it's pretty good. Um, I was just pleasantly surprised with the voice acting in this game. I was just like, this has some fantastic voice acting. A lot of great jobs done by these people in it. And it's funny, too. Um... It's written by one of the people who worked on Adventure Time. So, uh, yeah, it's got like a weird sense of humor there. But one thing about this game is it is rated E10, but it has the most inappropriate things. Um, okay, there's, an, there's one thing where... Uh, golly. Okay. Let me explain a little scenario in this game that happens. Because if you saw the little quick look, then you saw part of the scenario that happens. Uh, the main character wanders into an area there and needs to go home, so he needs a cab. The cabbie is suicidal because the cabbie got dumped by his girlfriend who uh, is leaving him because he doesn't have shiny teeth. But there is a, a, a villainous uh, mobster boss who has the shiny teeth. And then there's also like... So, okay, here's... Ah, oh, God, how to explain this? We talk to that dude, and it's like, oh, this person's got this problem, so I need to help him. How am I going to help him? Well, I could help him by, well, maybe fixing his teeth somehow. So what I'm going to go and do is I need to go to this thing, then I need to get this thing, and I need to get this thing and give this to a dog, which will bite these people, which will cause this person to be let out of a trunk. This person will do a thing and win a, win a contest, and then that contest... Uh, you, you will, if you win the contest, you'll somehow get these teeth, then you drag the teeth over there, slap them on the dude who's, um, hanging around with a noose around his neck, and, uh, he will decide to not be depressed, and, like, stuff have all sorts, that, that's just one of the weirder, like, that's not one of the, even the weirder ones, there's some weird ones, like, there's one where you're trying to, uh, 
put together a tea party for like uh a fix a figment of imagination frank from Don- donnie darko type thing um there was one like there was an area where i was trying to feed embarrassing memories to like a a narcissistic mother brain thing and then there was a thing where i i i, I there are just some weird horrible situations in this game that happen and it would be unfair of me to ruin them and i won't because stick it to the man is not expensive it's not a long game but it's an enjoyable game and you can go back and you can find like things and th- things you may have missed minds that you didn't read etc you don't really get anything for those i can tell it's just more or less you can go back through it and play through the wacky little storyline thing again because it's one of those games like you play it you finish it, you go go 100% it, then you come back to it at some point in time later on and play through it again. Because it's, it's weird. It's funny, disturbing, and weird. Love the art style for it. Um, it runs at a steady, like, a st- steady clip. It just looks good on the Nintendo Switch. You can play it anywhere you want. Um, it doesn't have any touch controls that, like, at all, which is kind of a shame, because... As far as, like, the only thing I have a little trouble with is, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have touch controls. I'd have to pull it out and, like, check that out again. But, yeah, um, I couldn't find, I couldn't, didn't notice any touch controls. Hmm. Oh, anyways, um, I do think that uh, sometimes selecting which brains to read in a bunch can be a little frustrating. I wish there was kind of, like, an auto lock to that. I mean, it's kind of a minor thing, but it had no real it wasn't really a source of frustration or anything it was just like oh there's four things here or oh, i'm trying to read the middle mind in between these three different things this is kind of built for a mouse so i was kind of a little surprised it didn't have like motion controls or something but yeah it's something they could add later on if they want anyways my opinion on it is that yeah this is this was fun it's short so know that getting in it's got a ton of voice acting and you can skip the cutscenes if you want. Um, most of the main cutscenes, you can skip them by holding B, or you can, um, and most of the dialogue that's spoken, you can just uh, fast forward through by going into like chipmunk mode, essentially, with the voices. But uh, my opinion on it was that Stick It to the Man was worth my time. I'm if I were giving this an out of ten, which I am, I would go ahead and this game give this game a seven point five out of ten. Does that mean it's bad? No, it means that like when you play through it first time, you're going to be both delighted and disturbed and you're going to be like, yeah, this was a really fun game. But after you play through it and you complete it and you 100% it, you're going to be like, well, there's not much else here, is there? So you are going to, it's going to sit in your, um, on your switch in the back of your, back of your roster or whatnot until you're like, huh, I should play that game again. It was pretty good. And then you'll go back and play it. Replay value is a little a little light on this game, which is unfortunate, but my opinion on it is that it's worth playing through at least once. If you played this on Steam or on other systems, you don't have really have an incentive to pick it up. But if you didn't play it on the on other systems, and this is your first time checking this out, you should check out Stick It to the Man. If you like this, you'll probably like Flipping Death, which is their newest one after this. So yeah, um, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was disturbing and horrible. And many of the stuff that goes through people's heads is just terrible. The main character is, is uh, he's likable and goofy, and that's fine. And then you've got Ted, who is also likable and goofy, and Arlene, that's also likable and goofy. These characters are all likable and goofy and interesting. And it's a fun romp, definitely. Do I think you should pick it up? it's not that expensive it's pretty good and it's kind of like i mean let's see what is this on uh on the east shop let me let me check real quick stick it to the man is 11.99 right 11.99 right now 11.99 very likely it'll go down in price for sales every now and again but 11.99 is a pretty decent price for stick it to the man now we got a review copy ahead of time in fact if you watch our instagram we posted up there it's like hey look at this and it's cool 
And I want to thank them again, Zoink Games, for sending that out there. Because, man, I probably would not have picked up this game. Because I look at it, I'm like, eh, well, yeah, I may wait for a sale. No, 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 you don't need to wait for a sale. Just pick this up. It's like eleven ninety nine. Yeah, I would say it's a 75 out of 100. Mainly because it has, like, you know, like, the replay is not always there. But what you're playing through is definitely worth the ticket. I mean, you're paying essentially less than you would for a movie ticket and some popcorn, and you're going to get maybe about th two to three hours, maybe four or five hours worth of enjoyment out of this. And if you play a chapter, put it down, play a chapter, put it down, the way it's built is perfect for the Switch. I think you should check it out. I like this game. Like I said, 7.5 out of 10 or 75 out of 100, whatever scale you want to use on that. Good game. Little replay value, but the first time you go through, it's gold. It's gold. Way inappropriate. So if you're actually uh, kind of offended by things, whatever. Get over yourself and check out this game. Like, there are some things that happen in it that are just so wrong, and I'm not going to spoil them for you because it's worth it. So yeah, go check out uh, Stick It to the Man. I'm your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mouth. This has been Area DMG, and this has been a review here at Area DMG. Um, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and then also hit that little bell so that you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. Until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.